Once upon a time, money and happiness were oil and water, never mixing, perpetually separate spheres. But in our shiny new 21st century lives, we realize that financial well-being and linguistic well-being are more like peanut butter and jelly, pairing splendidly together. They not only occupy the same sandwich but actually work in harmony to create a delicious gourmet experience. In this era, poverty, prosperity and their twins, joy and despair, have entered wedlock, further procreating offspring of financial security, autonomy, and a dollop of self-satisfaction. So, how can we nurture this delicate yet potent symbiosis of financial and emotional wellness? Let's polish up that financial feng shui, shall we? Old school Wall Street pundits may assert that financial well-being is gauged solely by the size of one's wallet. More zeros in the bank account, they say, equals champagne and roses. This, my friend, is a dangerous goblin to harbor. Financial well-being is not a monstrous stash of money dwarfs toiling under your authority, nor is it a golden goose laying you unending eggs of prosperity. It is, in essence, your freedom. Financial well-being means having the autonomy to make your own choices, secure in the knowledge that your fiscal decisions will not lead to an avalanche of unpaid bills or the threat of financial ruin. Ah, doesn't just thinking about this serenity-soaked scenario bring a colossal grin to your face? Now casting aside obsolete Dickensian notions of financial well-being, today's aficionado understands that it is intrinsically linked to personal security. This is not merely about having a Scrooge McDuck-esque money pit but about utilizing financial levers to unlock the gates of liberty. It's about telling your electric bill to cool it and still taking a guilt-free vacation to Tahiti. So, how do we combine our fiscal senses and emotional sensibilities into a harmonious whole? Simple. We need to peer into the dark closets of our fears and insecurities to address the monsters under our beds. Parley the bogeyman of debts, dig into the ghoulish mounds of credit scores, and confront the specter of retirement, look them square in the face and say, be gone. The Powerball lottery is not the answer. Instead, confidence and education are our Excalibur and shield. Know thy enemy, understand thy debts, and conquer thy financial plan. Installments aren't enemy invaders but bridges to span voids. Credit scores don't define your worth but give you access to economic locomotion. And your retirement fund is not a ticking time bomb but a lovely holiday in Saint-Tropez waiting for you. Augment this newfound knowledge with audacity and you'll find yourself wading through the shallows of financial uncertainty into the sun-kissed beaches of financial well-being. My friends, financial well-being is in an exclusive paradise for the one percenters. It's the right of every self-asserting, fear-conquering warrior donning the armor of knowledge and carrying the torch of courage. In the end, chums, it's all about shifting perspective. We are not just economic beings but emotional beings too. Money matters, but so does your spirit. It's your life, your financial well-being we're talking about. So, welcome new thoughts, embrace this fresh outlook, and marvel at the panoramic view from the summit. Oh, look, there's joy playing poker with prosperity. Here's to your financial freedom, health, and wellness. Cheers and Godspeed.